hands open here. Remember, open the bones in your palms. Um, elbows not behind you. Fingers pointing straight ahead, really. And you just breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the nose. So we need to spend a minute or two just um, getting some energy into the hands, between the hands, okay? So we're just breathing in and out through the nose. And if it helps you, picture as if you've got a balloon, which is totally transparent, the clearest balloon you've ever seen. It's so clear, you can see right through it. You hardly know it's there, but you can feel it in your palms. So your palms are touching the skin of the balloon. As you breathe in, you open about an inch. As you breathe out, you close that same inch. No more, just open and close about an inch. Now make sure that the skin on your palms stays wide open. That doesn't mean that you force the hands open. It means you release and relax the, the, the cells of your skin. The whole structure of your skin becomes like a, like a net opening out. So you're breathing in and opening. You're breathing out and closing. Okay, then you stop moving completely and just breathe in and out just for a second. And then what you do is you do this thing called almost moving, which is as you breathe in, you try and pull your hands apart, but you can't move them. They're being held together. They're bound together somehow. And then when you close them, you try and push together but you can't move them. There's something stopping them moving, but you feel like you're making the effort to do so. So the in-breath, you're pulling apart without being able to, and the out-breath, you're pushing together without being able to. And as you do this, you've got this transparent sphere inside between your hands, this balloon, and you are filling it with your energy from your palms as you breathe out. So you try and pull a pass on the in-breath, but you can't. And you try and squeeze them on the in-breath and you fill the balloon up. So take your mind between your hands. So you keep going with that. You just keep going. You're breathing in and out through the nose. Open as you breathe in, trying to pull apart but can't. Close as you breathe out, trying to push together but you can't. We're now going to alter the breathing pattern. So as you breathe in, it's, it's going to be the same. You breathe in and you breathe out. There's nothing changed as far as the mechanics go now, except for one thing. When you breathe in, would you lift your perineum up Pull it up, and as you breathe out, would you just re completely release it and relax your chest? Breathing in, you pull your perineum up, and then breathing out, you release it. Now, don't do too hard for the moment, just, just gentle. Pull up gently, and then breathing out, release it. And think of your chest relaxing and your whole torso relaxing. Okay, to which we're going to add the chi high acupuncture point at the front of you, inch and a half below your tummy button. So as you breathe in, you lift up below, but you also pull inwards at the front. And as you breathe out, just relax and think of your chest completely relaxed inside. In is lifting up the perineum and pulling in chi high. Out is completely relaxing everything, abdomen, the whole works. Your hands are not moving, but you feel as though you're trying to pull them apart and squeeze. 
The in-breath is pulling them apart. The out-breath is squeezing. The in-breath is pulling apart, lifting up the perineum, chi high in. The out-breath is squeezing, relaxed chest, everything softens. Okay, good. Keep going. Don't stop, but you're going to add something else in. So if you've got your eyes closed, just watch the screen for a second when you're ready. So as I breathe in, I start to twist this ball and rotate it. As I breathe out, I reverse that and go back to where I was. And then I do the other side, breathing in and breathing out. In, out. Now then, the twist, imagine you've got something between your hands and you are feeling one hand twisting against the other, like you're, you know, you've got a towel between your hands, you're trying to wring it out or something. One hand turns one way, the other hand turns the other way, doesn't it? So it's like I can feel a bit of, um, a, a bit of resistance to my doing this. And then I just let it spring back. So it's a slight squeezing going on. There's a resistance to my tw doing the twist. And then I spring it back. When I say spring, it's not sudden. I allow whatever I've twisted to go back. So as I twist, I'm lifting up the perineum and I'm pulling in chi high. And as I let go and allow it to spring back, I'm just thinking of relaxing my chest and everything. So same as before, lift, pull in, and then chest relaxes, allow everything to go back to neutral. And one more. Good. Bring your hands together, just rub them together. You can see what's going on perhaps here. We're doing Sun Style Tai Chi sitting down. That little bit where you go twist the ball, we're doing that. And then you do that push down and out you come. And then you turn your hip and your shoulder, elbow, whole thing pushing. So all this open, close comes all the time in the Qigong, in the Tai Chi, as well as in Qigong. All this twisting comes into the Tai Chi as well.